thinking of sunglasses in the car. Yeah, I'm not for thinking me. Oh, hello, we didn't see you there. Hello. <laughs> we're just saying Ricky forgot his sunglasses, so he's going to be squinty yeah. in this intro. Squinty McSquint. <laughs> but we are here in Brighton. Um, we're actually, you're probably going to think, oh, I've already watched a vlog of you in Brighton. It's because we're doing a few today, but we're going to do different things. Yes. So we're going to do a bit of a challenge today. So aside from our other activities, so I want to be transparent about that. We're absolutely going to spend more money than this, but the purpose of this vlog is we want to try and do a few cheap things yes. so we're just going to have a, a mooch around Brighton to do a bit of window shopping um, check out the lanes hopefully go over to the pavilion and just look at cheap or free things to do in Brighton so of course we'll probably end up on the pier yes as well but what was our budget each 20 pound each so what's that yes. a, a food and um, other things I guess. and other things <laughs> yes so it's probably not going to get us very far. No. Um, I reckon I'm hoping to spend no more than a tenner on food, so then I've got a tenner for fun stuff. Yes. But our first shop is, we're actually down by the seafront, hence the noise and the seagulls, um, is a shop called Sarah and Topsy. Um, and it looks as though they do all kawaii gifts um, and just some really cute things. So yeah. I have to bear in mind my budget and yeah. rein it in. That could go right out the window there. <laughs> but we're going to go in and take a look. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. for a drink at the uh, beachfront bar called Captain's. Yes, uh, <laughs> it's um, already eaten to our bucket. <laughs> yeah, so Ellie got a strong bow dark fruits. Yep. And I got a got beer moretti. You have to think about that then. Yeah, yeah, there's so many beers, I just forget. <laughs> um, I've, I'm gonna round it because I can't remember the Zach by pence, so this was 12 pounds. So yeah. that's obviously eating away six pounds towards our budget, so. Yeah. So that's my drinks <laughs> bucket gone. <laughs> yep, and your food budget? Well, no, my, I give myself a £10 food bucket, so I've got £4 to spend on food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, we'll see how we get on, but it's nice to have a, a cold pint while you're sitting watching the beach. The sea. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Ellie has some facts about the pavilion. Yeah, so thank you, internet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I knew all this. So it's actually a museum as well, so you can go inside, but it's £17 each. Oh, so okay. we are on a budget today. Yeah. Uh, and I spent all my money in art box in our other vlog, which we'll link down below. So we're not going to go in today, but it was built or it was ready for residing in in 1787. Um, and it was a seaside retreat for George, the Prince of Wales. Um, oh. And then King George the Fourth, I think that's the same person. <laughs> oh, okay, so he started off as Prince Regent yeah. um, and then became king later down, so he was known as King George the Fourth. Um, so yeah, I think looking at my trusted friend Google, uh, <laughs> it was um, inspired by like Indian and Chinese architecture. I mean, you, could, you sort of get that. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like a sort of um, Asian art. Um, influence to it. It's really nice, a really nice building though. Yeah, it is. And so we're going to walk around the gardens. So you can walk around the pavilion and the gardens, which is absolutely free. And you can see it's a, it's a beautiful day. So let's go for a wander. Let's wander. It's so pretty. Right? And it's a great weather for doing it. By the time we spent six pounds on a pint each, we could have bought a picnic. Oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our spice cracker rub with ginger beer and lime. So Sorry, it's Ricky, perfect. And then over there we've got um that's come out soon is coffee infused rum, so you can try a bit of both.
Ah, oh, that's the game we wanted, weren't it? If we put our money together. Yeah. There's nothing against the rules about putting money together. Oh, look. Zombie kittens. I think we're a sucker for these type of games. Oh, honestly. They're great though. They're great to just have around. I don't know. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's really interesting. Cool oh, Disney comics. They're really cool. Ten cents. Oh. Uh, I think they're actually seven pound each. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Oh my gosh. Figment. I'm keeping you out. Yeah, That's I think really we might, cool. Might need to get some of these. You notice they're. Uh, Marvel. That's so interesting. Yeah, I, didn't... I didn't even realise they did comics. I mean, what's the age of it? It's obviously not, and it's not a new thing. How do you know what I, how old they are? I suppose you don't do it until you open it. Yeah. It's only three pound fifty. Got some more here as well. Like really raves about it. <laughs> so many mangoes. I know. I want my hero academia. Yeah. They don't really have many good books. Oh, they've got Sailor Moon, but again. If you like mango and you see a volume one for something, grab it. Yeah, because... Volume ones are usually the hardest. Island disco. They've been walking around the streets all day and we just got handed a leaflet. Oh, I would love to do this. How fun is that? That is so cool. It's got a chunk out of it. <laughs> Go to the other side. <laughs> Let's see what we can see. Well, hello there. Hello. Hello, good sir. Welcome Ooh. to my donut. Echo. It's a very nice donut. Actually, this statue, did you know, is called a float? I did, because I read the sign. <laughs> oh, so it's not. I'm coming. <laughs> All right, smart guy. Yeah. Where? It's on the bottom, around here. Oh. <laughs> you just made me go full circle. Yeah, super oh, yeah. float. Oh yeah. Like Hamish Black. Black. 1998. Yeah. The first time I even seen it. Look at that view as well. Does it not make you want to go out to sea to see what's on the other side of the sea? The sea. The sea. So the sun's getting low. We've sat down on the beach for a while. It's like, what's the, what is the time? Quarter to eight, and we have a confession to make. We we did not stick to our £20 each budget. No. <laughs> so we went to a kicking shop called Bok, B-O-K, and we, we have been here before. Yeah. Oh, it's, we didn't feel it because we were stuffing. Um, I had a buffalo burger and frickles, the fried pickles. And what did you have? I had a... I think it was it's called Piggy Small, so it was uh, the chicken burger, mm. but it had um, ham pot barbecue sauce and cheese. Was it good? Very nice. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. The food is really good there. Um, yeah. It came to £37. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah. a bit out of bucket. We were going to just get chips by the beach, as you do. Um, 
but actually it, the more, we are going to go to Brighton Pier so we're going to take you to Brighton Pier and still we're not really going to spend much money so no. we've spent we went to photo Matic, I think it, yeah, Photomatic, um, and they've got vintage photo booths. So one colour, one black and white, and then they have like a black and white script one. But it's he said it was what 52 years old. Yeah, yeah. And so. <laughs> you really wanted to do that one, didn't you? I just love the uh, the style of it, which is like the the vintage looking yeah. ones. Um, it was really good fun. So it's four pound per booth, so per token for a booth. But because we had issues with the old booth, so 50s booth. Well, yeah, um, he gave us an extra token, which was really nice. So we've yeah. got three of each. So we're going to pop a photo of the photos, photo section in now. Now. So those were our photos. We spent six pounds on a beer each earlier. So if we ignore the chicken, <laughs> yeah. we've still only spent ten pounds each. But the reality of it is, if you come to Brighton, you're going to need more money because. You can just come to enjoy the beach, like you, you absolutely can. You can bring a picnic or if you want fish and chips, the average price is about seven to nine pounds, usually for a meal. So because yeah. you're by the sea, obviously it's gonna be more expensive. But I think when you start walking around the lanes and you're window shopping, you're like, oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. And then a lot of the restaurants, there's just, Brighton is so diverse and it's, yeah, so I, I think, love it. I think it comes down to how close you live there. Yeah. If you can come here quite often, then you can do it quite cheap. But if you don't come that often, you're obviously going to want to go into these shops and buy these uh, yeah. wonderful things. So yeah. I think it's harder to do it on the cheap. Yeah, it is. Um, but you know, some of the things like the pavilion gardens, they're free. So hopefully a few of the things that we've shown you today are cheap. Yeah. I'm talking as if I were ending the vlog. We are going to go to the pier, of course, because yeah. you can't come to the seaside and not go on the pier. Exactly. And that's kind of cute. We'll see if, I was going to say we'll see how much the 2P machines. <laughs> they're going to be 2P, I think. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good start. I think these are the drumstick squashies. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> They're very strange though. They are very. <laughs> Bye, Miss Kitty. Bye. Uh, it has an idea. <laughs> backwards idea yeah what's a backwards idea well because when you get the um i know it goes above your head but what is a backwards idea is it like a, a really rubbish idea i suppose like a disaster yeah like um shoes of no souls um you came up with that pretty quickly why did you come up don't patent it it's mine <laughs> it's my bad idea <laughs> Do you that want to looks, go on that ride? That looks really scary. I mean, you know, if I, if I weren't so fat, then yeah, I probably would. I mean, it looks pretty intense to be it fair. Does. Do you know what? You know, it's because like, you can see you're right next to the sea as well. Yeah. Or do you want to go to the horror hotel? I just spotted that. Ah. Of all the things I might have gone on, that probably would have been alright. Yeah. How do we not know that it's run by ghosts though? Well, I don't know. Although the restraints look quite like restrainy for, a, I guess, because of that bit maybe. Yeah, it looks like it's got seatbelt bits as well. Hey, it looks fun though. <laughs> it does look fun. Ooh. Why has he got a glove? <laughs> 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 He's got a glove because of... He's got fluffy fingers. <laughs> oh, it's really frightening. Wouldn't you be if you lost your hands? Look at his eyes. There's nothing but pain in those eyes. Yeah. My treat. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I could go on anything. That bird is going to come back. Exactly. So it's time to drive back to Milton Keynes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> after a long day of walking and doing everything, yeah. I'm not looking forward to the drive back. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, 
for clarity, I think it's about two and a half hours on a good run, isn't it, from home? I mean, on a good run, I think it's about two, so yeah. hopefully we won't have much traffic. Fingers crossed. It depends, because obviously uh, it was the FA Cup final today, so oh, we're going yeah. past London, so we may may catch it, hopefully not, but yeah. we'll but see. It's been a lovely day. You've caught the sun, by the way. I can I see can it. See, yeah. <laughs> It's been such a lovely day though. We left at seven o'clock this morning, just after. So we have literally been here since about 10. Yeah. And it is, I was gonna look at my walk. Um, yeah, it's 20 past eight. So it's time to call it a day. Uh, it was probably a bit of a fail in terms of trying to show you cheap things, but we hope you've enjoyed wandering around Brighton with us. Um, I mean, I guess food aside, <laughs> it wasn't too bad. And we did go to the Art Box Cafe. So that was the main reason for our trip. Yeah. Um, so we'll link the video for that down below if you're into all things cute and kawaii because yeah. it was such a treat but yeah. thank you for joining us again um, if you're new here which very well maybe and if you are hello, hello. Um, and if you're not hello. hello I am Ellie and I'm Richard and we're the Mediocre Travel Blog and we'll see you again soon bye, bye. bye.